Hello folks, welcome back to the PV Perium channel. Um, right, let's just get straight to it. We don't want this fucking video to be any more slow, boring and painful than it has to be. A uh, discipline priest changed an awful lot. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a guide towards PvP. Now, I would imagine in the next six weeks, everything I say here is going to be told to be absolute bollocks. But uh, as far as the first day is concerned, I've got this priest topping healing meters. The first time I went in, I was shite. And now I'm um, I'm usually out, out healing everybody. Okay, things have changed a lot. We'll smash through some talents real quick. I'm not going to do. Um, I'm not going to be too in depth with it. I'm sure you know what most of the talents do. And then I'll go in a battleground and show you how to, to how unstoppable you are. Basically, it's um you're a fucking machine. All right. Uh, so here we go. These are the ones that I've chosen, and uh, it'll be different for PVE, I'm sure. And for PVP, to be honest, there's a couple that I'm already thinking, ooh, that could be good. So this one here allows pendants to cast on uh, a friendly target. Now uh, this works well on a, a lockout basis, okay? Because your your main heal, what what the fuck's it called? Main heal is called uh, Shadow Mend. It might as well be called Shadow Spam. You cast that fucker all the time, okay? Um, that's a shadow spell. So if you're constantly casting that all the time, somebody pummels you, locks you out yeah you can then cast penance and um, so you, you basically it's unstoppable healing of course then if holy tree gets locked out you're fucked but you may as well just run around like a headless chicken you can't do anything then anyway um, right this one here penance gives one additional bolt I'm sure that's brilliant it's no use to me schism could be very good it does damage okay and uh, a lot of your healing now especially your raid healing is done through dealing damage so that could be very good I'm gonna check it out a little bit more these are two mobilities versus one um, Oh, no, 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 these are all ability. This one is the yeah, Angelic Feather, that's what I'm using. This uh, means you go faster after your leap. That's a bit shit, I think. And um, when you cast Shadow Mend on yourself... Oh, yeah, this, this is it. Yeah, this gives you a heal. So Shadow Mend, the one you're going to be casting all the time, um, it leaves a dot on somebody. It's a shit dot that you don't really notice, but it does leave it on them. But actually, if you choose this talent, it means that dot comes back to you as healing. Haven't tried it out yet, sounds very good, but I don't think from a PvP perspective, you're going to want to lose mobility. Up to you. Shining Force basically makes you uh, a tactical nuke yeah you blow up and everybody around you gets knocked back it's very good unless you're against a warrior then it's pointless psychic voice uh, reduces cooldown psychic scream I don't know about that uh, dominate mind you can control yourself and the other target probably very good for arenas no good for me for battlegrounds uh, power word solace now these that right essentially if, if you're after mana regen shield discipline's better Power Word Solace, however, is in the Holy Tree and does damage, which means if you get locked out of the Shadow Tree and you're needing Holy Spells to keep people up, that works and gives mana back. Okay, It can become part of your rotation. That's why I've chosen it. I haven't struggled for mana so far. Uh, Mind Bender or Ass Bender. Load of shit, don't use it. Right, now Contrition uh, increases Atonement. Now, Atonement is the buff that you need to put on everybody to make sure they're receiving your healing from your damage spells. Uh, adding it by an extra two seconds I don't think is necessary at this point. That may well change. Power infusion, if I'm in the shit and got a lot of melee on me, it's brilliant for getting heals out. Okay, really, really good. I've always used it. I, uh, maybe it's just a, I'm a creature of habit. I don't know. Twisting of uh, fate, if you heal targets that are nearly dead, you heal by an awful lot more. I find that's quite situational um, and not necessarily that good at keeping a raid in a good place. Because if you've got people down that low anyway, they're in execute range, people are going to start dying a lot quicker. Uh, Clarity of Will, bullshit, never use it. Divine Star is um, an instant. I prefer instants uh, as in an instant cast. Halo, Kate's a long time. It's probably quite good. I haven't tried it. I don't care. I like Divine Star. Uh, Purge of the Wicked. Now, these three are slightly different. Purge of the Wicked is good because you do um, quite a bit of healing. Now, your raid healing is through smiting the fuck out of stuff or penancing the fuck out of stuff or power word solacing the fuck out of stuff if you're, if you're using that. Okay. Now, this turns your power word... Uh, pain into a fire based spell and it spreads automatically to somebody next to you. Now this would be very good I think. I've gone for grace, okay, because non-atonement healing you will find yourself in the shit at some point, um, but uh, I think once you've you've got used to atonement and how it works you probably won't need to increase your non-atonement healing. So I think Purge of the Wicked a long term will be the one to go with. And this is like um, a shadow based AoE spell. I was using that for a while. I didn't find that effective to be perfectly honest. So with that in mind, I'll stop this video, queue it for a battleground and uh, I'll, I'll talk you through how I play. Okay, cheers. Hello, ladies, boys and lady boys. Here we go. Right. Um, I had a storm. Yeah. Let's uh, let's have a look. I'm going to be one of those fucking horrendously irritating people that just goes straight to the middle, gets knocked off with an explosive trap. Um, it's worth mentioning at this point, guys. A lot of people are pissing and moaning because uh, somebody's gone over there. Um, because 
uh, so many abilities have been removed and so on. This is not this is not the game you're going to be playing, okay? Because there, there's far more abilities coming your way when the actual Legion thing hits, right? And you've got the honor talents and everything like that. Right, okay, so what we're doing first as a Discipline Priest, we're going to start dotting a few people up because if you can chuck Atonement up on people, yeah, what happens is they become... Um, it's almost like you, you're giving a renew spell to somebody, okay? That's what's happening. So you put atonement up on people, and you put shadow of pain up on people. The 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 damage received. Hey, we fucking go. Thanks very much. Uh, the damage received um, by those shadow word pain people then goes through the atonement and then heals people. Okay, so here we go. I'm getting my ass kicked here by a rogue. Wonderful. That's not an awful lot I can do about it. Let's check one of these up. Let's start spamming a bit harder, shall we? There we go. So here we are. I'm just sh fucking spamming the fuck out of this Shadow Men thing at the moment, okay? When things stabilize, every time I put this Shadow Men thing on, right, it's putting Atonement up, all right? So what I'm doing is when I'm out of the shit, I can then switch to... Let's drink it that so I can show you. Switch to Shadow of Painting, and you'll notice everyone's receiving healing. Now I'm smiting, yeah? So that's the idea. That's that's how you play now, yeah? You shadow you shadow men the fuck out of stuff until you stabilize or people leave you alone. And then once you've done that, you switch to DPSing, alright? And then what you get is massive, massive AoE healing. <laughs> that's the game. That's all it is now. Uh, and uh, it, I just use the um, shields now to um, basically save my own ass. Yeah, I use them far more sparingly because if you get melee on you, here we go, much like this. There's a warrior is a very, very difficult. Watch the watch my tactical nuke here. Oh, I can't do a fucking thing. This pains up. Tactical nuke. Shit against warriors, I'll show you. Boom! Shit flies away. Oh, I didn't even fly him away. Brilliant. Um, Alright. Okay, if you don't have time, if you're on the move and you need to get atonement up, that's when you use plea. So that's what I was doing there. Spamming plea. Right, he's now dead. Alright, let's check a plea up on that guy, let's check one up on that guy, let's check one on the warrior down there, and one on myself, and then let's just spam smite on something. There you go, and now all those people are receiving healing. Everyone's going up at the same time. Let's check power up sh shadow word, uh, pain on them as well, so that they get a trickle heal on the background. The only thing I haven't got set up on holy, here we go, now I'm holy locked, I can then cast pen, um, I can pa cast the shadow spell still, yeah? That's why I've gone for that penance uh, talent. Oh, this warrior's back. Yes, yes, you love my bum hole. Oh, I'm going to die here. I've got nothing. So, um, so that's it. That's the game. All right? You, you, you may love it or hate it. That is all she wrote. So, let's let's do this. Let's see if he pummels my shadow spells. <laughs> doing that. This is what I mean about being a bit unstoppable, yeah? You use your abilities. Yeah, you're just, you're just going to live. Now, I don't know what the fuck's going on on this battleground. I don't really care. I'm just in here to show you uh, the, the easiest way in which to... Into, to play. So let's shadow men the fuck out of this guy. Oh, well, he's run off anyway. Bollocks to him. And then uh, let's sh sh shadow a pain on this one. That guy needs some help. So let's put a shield on him. Because I put a shield on him, I know atonement's up. <laughs> this, uh, there you go. Healing could not be more simple. Yeah, and I just use that um, fucking, what's it called? Solace spell. There you go. Me and the warlock are getting heals at the moment. Right, let's, let's holy... There you go, he's holy locked me. So now I just cast a shadow's heels instead. This is why you need the penance one. This, this, oh no, here we go. This is the problem though. Dying in stuns is fucking easy. Right, so we're going to cast power infusion. Feared, I'm going to get down here. There you go. That's it. Let's have a look. How am I doing on healing? Smashing it. <laughs> there you are. Done. Cheers, folks. Let me know uh, how you're getting on, yeah? And, uh... I'll see if I record the rest of this battleground. If I do, then I'll check something on the end. All right.